It is a good life we lead, brother. <sighs> the best. May it never change. And may it never change us. If you've not yet played or heard about Assassin's Creed 2 for some reason, then now might be the best time to jump in. The Ezio Collection combines arguably the best story arc of the Assassin's Creed franchise in one perfect package. Try saying that three times. Perfect package, perfect package, perfect package. It includes Assassin's Creed 2, Brotherhood as well as Revelations, but that's not all. In addition, you also get the two films based around Ezio, Assassin's Creed Lineage and Assassin's Creed Embers, both of which is worth the watch. However, now you can play this entire collection on the go with the Nintendo Switch version, so now you can parkour while you parkour. The downside is that you'll need to download each game separately, which does take up some space, but I guess that's the norm nowadays with older games being ported to the Nintendo Switch. Speaking of being ported, this trilogy is now playable on the PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, PC, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S, as well as the Nintendo Switch. Ubisoft, um, are you trying to outport Skyrim here? Anyways, after all this time it was kinda hard to return to the initial Ezio game, Assassin's Creed 2. It has sluggish controls, some annoying parkour, and reminded me how much the franchise has changed, and also how much I miss what the franchise was. It still has one of the best stories and some fantastic characters, but everything feels much older than I expected. As a huge fan of the games, I'm more than willing to put up with it, but Assassin's Creed 2 is showing its age throughout the game. The most significant thing to note is that Assassin's Creed 2 looks far better today than what it did when it initially released. Brighter colors and improved lighting, faces are more emotive, even if they still appear a little weird, and the sky and lighting have dramatically dramatically improved. It also has arguably one of the best soundtracks. In this game, players will take on the role of Ezio, a young assassin who will carry on the heritage of his forefathers across Renaissance Italy, including Florence and Venice. The world Ubisoft created is really one of the best ever. You never really know who to trust as you improve your fighting style, upgrade weapons and armor, while visiting Leonardo da Vinci who kinda acts more like Q from 007 than anything else. This also includes all of the DLC from Assassin's Creed 2, so you'll easily be busy for dozens of hours with just one game. The game also performs well in handheld mode, with touchscreen elements allowing for quick interaction between menus and map locations, and if this is your very first time in the Animus, then it'll certainly be a memorable one. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood is the superior of the two. Combat is faster, quicker and more free-flowing, and mobility appears to be less prone to odd misinterpretations of your controller inputs. Rome outpaces Florence and Venice not just in size, but also in complexity and atmosphere, and there are some fantastic passages of climbing and puzzle solving in addition to the normal exploration and assassination. Having other assassins to call on for help to even the odds, and dispatching them on missions throughout Europe can be an entertaining detour. You can do more horse riding, making it a viable if not dangerous way to get around the city, while new equipment like poison darts and parachutes gives you some fascinating new alternatives. Assassin's Creed Revelations takes place sometime after Brotherhood, as you find Ezio being much older. It may not be the leap between Assassin's Creed 2 and Brotherhood, but it has an intriguing main location in Istanbul, and its portrayal of an older, wiser Ezio shows a franchise gaming in depth and maturity. The DLC of both Brotherhood and Revelations are also included, so that is a nice bonus. The Ezio collection for the Nintendo Switch includes HD Rumble, an upgraded HUD, and, like I said, even touchscreen support. While these features are great, they are not a necessity to enjoy the series. Overall, it was fun to revisit Ezio, but also serves as a reminder of just how much the modern Assassin's Creed just isn't what the franchise was anymore. 
I'd highly recommend the Ezio Collection on the Nintendo Switch, especially if this is your first time playing it, but don't expect too much if you're revisiting this journey. I'd easily give this title a 7 out of 10. I'd like to thank Ubisoft Nordic for providing me with the review key on the Nintendo Switch, and for more gaming content, check out the rest of my channel. If you enjoyed this video, then give me a thumbs up. If you dislike it, then give me a thumbs down, but please tell me why so I can improve my videos. My name is Frank, I'm the Red Side Guy, and frankly, thank you for watching. Catch you guys in the next video.